So next up is uh, Waterloo, and that's uh, Alice Schmidt Hambidge and Tony Tin from Waterloo talking about their project with mm -hmm. academic integrity. Thanks. I'd like to know if we get the extra time that uh, that the last speaker left oh. for ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody, and welcome here today. I'm Alice Schmidt Hambidge from uh, Renison College at the University of Waterloo, and I'm from the School of Social Work faculty there. I'm Tony Tin from Renison University College as well. We're here today to talk about using badges with our academic integrity app that we developed. And so we'd like to tell you a little bit today about our app and how badging applies to that. We've had some successes. We have some challenges with it as well. But we're badging newbies. This is the first badge we've worked on. It's also, I believe, it's the first for our university. Uh, so we've also negotiated some things with our institution. And then we also have a challenge for you. <clears throat> so we know that academic integrity is essential in post-secondary education for both credibility of the university and for students' uh, degrees. What we know is when, when first-year students come on campus that they're given information about academic integrity during orientation week, at talks during first classes, there's notations in the course syllabus, and instructions are really overwhelming that first week for students as they arrive on campus. What we know is that usually the instructions are left to the instructors to share with the students. What we also know is that although there have been some, some attempts, a number, number of them throughout all of the institutions uh, in terms of higher education, we know that it's not making a huge difference. If anything, what's happening now is incidences of academic misconduct, such as plagiarism and cheating, are actually increasing and have continued to increase. So what is academic uh, integrity? It's a commitment, even in the face of adversity, to six fundamental values. From the values flow certain behaviors that translate into the acad academic setting and hopefully then into the workplace setting. The key values of integrity are these six values that uh, we've adopted from the, um, the academic, or sorry, the in International Center for Academic Integrity. So these are international six values, responsibility, fairness, courage, respect, honesty, and trust. These are values that are in the academic setting, but they're also throughout uh, with the workplace setting as well. So Tony's going to talk a little bit about the app that we developed called Integrity Matters that addresses the values of academic integrity. Okay, uh, to combat academic misconduct and promote integrity value, our institution have developed an app. The app is so unique in the sense that it's tri-language. Chinese, English, and French is also available like in, in two different platforms. It's Android and iOS app that you can download from the App Store or the iTunes Store. Um, this is what the app looks like. We introduce a value-based scenario. Students watch the video, and after that, they have to make an intelligent response. Now, to reward student effort, they have to achieve 75% in order to get a certificate. So once they finish all the module, they will automatically receive a e-certificate if they achieve more than 75%. Most important of all, like, you know, we will also give them an open badges, like, you know, to reward the effort. Students can actually go and claim the badges uh, through the factory, and after that, they can import into their uh, LinkedIn and also, like, you know, their electronic portfolio or Facebooks. This is just a snapshot of how it works, like, you know, using mobile, phone, the internet, uh, they pass, and then they can claim, like, the e-certificate and also receive open badges. It is so significant in the sense that we finally have a big for that. We use the uh, REST APS and we were able to create interface and can directly issue and open badges like, you know, to, the, uh, to the student. Success and opportunity. So we've had some successes with student engagement, public recognition and acknowledgement. Also the institutional approval was really critical for us to ensure that the administrators support it. There are some opportunities or challenges. Um, we won't go through them in detail due to lack of time, but I would like to highlight the last one about more evidence-based studies are needed to develop best practices in higher education um, that we would like to be able to participate in more 
of uh, those types of studies. Here is where you can download our open source, open access uh, app from the Android um, Play, Google Play Store or Apple iTunes Store. And then our question for you to consider is how can positive reinforcement in the form of open badging plus an intervention, so for example our training, best combat academic misconduct in higher education? So we're looking for your ideas. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one more thing. If you find our app really interesting, you can go to my table. I have some, it's called Smart Access Card. It has an NFC built-in. You can actually go and tap. It will link you directly to the, to the website, and then you can actually download the app. Or if you're using Android, you can, uh, I, uh, iOS, you can just go and scan the QR code. Okay, if you find it interesting, I have all of those so-called Smart Card candies. Give it away. Thank you so much. Table 12. <laughs>